It's about time I did something with this channel. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the very first video of the Damien Cross Racing channel. And it's great to finally get this thing going. I'm gonna start off with a quick drive around Alton Park, and we're here in the 4X Annex. Why's it called the 4X Annex? It's because we're on iRacing. So iRacing has a, um, a series of penalty systems which you may or may not know about already. 4X is what happens if you make contact with someone, quite heavy contact. So yeah, we're in a 4X Annex, and we're just gonna go for a quick drive around Alton Park, which hopefully you can see on screen now, um, and means I'm gonna need this. So, let's get ready. And there we go, we're ready to go. So we're at Alton Park. Why Alton Park? Well, it's a nice little track. So we're going around the Foster Circuit, and it was actually the first circuit that I ever drove on in real life when I just got my uh, driving license. So it kind of comes full circle. I'm 40 now, so you're currently watching a bloke in his 40s uh, trying to deal with modern technology. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to take a, uh, a GT4 car out. We've got a McLaren here. The reason I chose GT4 is that it gets around this Foster circuit in about a minute, which is a great little target for you guys. So I've taken all five GT4 cars, which are available on iRacing. All five of them can get around there in a minute, no problem at all. So what you'll see in front of you now on the screen um, is some various bits and bobs. Before I start the engine, we'll see in the bottom left, there's uh, some lap times. Uh, we'll also see me in the bottom right, of course, and we'll see pedal cam. Okay, so hopefully give you a little bit more of an insight to what's going on. But we're gonna turn this engine on, get cracking, pull out the pits, and hopefully as I go around, not crashing, um, you'll kind of get an idea of what this is gonna be about. Of course, it won't just be me test driving all the time. We'll be taking the car out for races. Longer races, I'll probably start from the back of the grid to make it a bit more exciting. Shorter races, probably qualify to make sure I'm where I need to be. And um, yeah, I don't know what races I'm gonna be doing. So part of this kind of YouTube channel is you seeing me randomly select what the next race will be. Which kind of hopefully adds a bit of jeopardy to the situation. We're coming up the hill here. We're already halfway around this lap, so it's a great one for you to try. Honestly, if you've got eye racing, or if you fancy it, a nice little challenge. Once you get yourself a GT4 car, it's just to kind of see if you can do some laps around this circuit in under a minute. Right, nice and early on the power there. Bit of oster on the exit, but not too bad. Now you'll see a uh, rear view mirror at the top of your screen there. And underneath that, there's a red number, which means I'm slightly down on my best lap ever. Not too worried about that for today. We're just driving around, having a bit of fun. But yeah, if we can get that to within about seven tenths of my very best, then we've done a one minute lap. I'll do a couple of laps first just to get the tires up to temperature. And then we'll do some quicker laps. What I'll also do for you guys is pop a little TV channel up there. Well, a TV camera. So you can actually see the car going around. I've got triple monitors in front of me here now, which you can't see. You can only see my middle screen. So it may seem that you're not seeing the whole picture not much I could do about that really because this whole width of this system is, is, is too big for YouTube. We'll do a few laps here then. What we'll do during the races, as well as obviously racing, we'll do some shout outs to other YouTubers that you might want to follow, people that have kind of got me into it, people that I can watch in the background all day long or people who are really entertaining for just short sharp races or top tips and that kind of thing. Um, so look out for those, and I'll leave a link to those in the comments of the races as well. If this is your first ever time watching one of my videos, then thank you very much for coming along. Please leave a comment. Um, even if it's not your first time watching one of my videos, but you've come back to this first video, yeah, please leave a comment to say why you came along, what the date is. I'd love to keep seeing these comments coming in. And of course, YouTube, isn't it? So I've got to ask you to like and subscribe, because it really will help me make a difference when I actually start doing these videos properly. Let's settle down now, rather than me rabbiting on and actually concentrate on what I'm doing because I'm driving really badly at the moment. Let's give this uh, McLaren GT4, 570S, get a bit of a caring touch and immediately I miss the apex of the final corner of the lap, which means a bad run on to the next lap. Right. 
Let's try and get under a minute. Try not to run wide on the exit here. And let you lose a little bit of curve like that, but if you use too much curb, it will moan at you. It will give you what's called a 1x, which is using too much tra track, or going off track. We're all fighting it on the uh, exit there. I had to shift down to second. And I couldn't quite get that corner flat out. I think we just need a little bit more heat in these tyres. We've been going for a couple of laps. Another lap, maybe. And we'll be able to get around that corner. Nickerbrook, as it's called. Get around there flat out. Which will be very handy for lap time. Still a little bit down coming through Druids. Coming into the final corner here. Actually, we don't actually outbreak ourselves. Now keep it in third because I want to sort of minimise that wheel spin coming out of that. Over the crest, the back end of the car is going to go light. Across the line, we've gone under a minute. So that was the aim. We'll push a little bit harder now. And probably end up crashing, but never mind. Okay, so you see that delta? 0.02. Very close to my fastest ever lap at this point. All the curve on the entry. Down into second. Right, let's see if we can take this corner flat out this time. Oh, it's tiptoe stuff. Oh, I could. There's a little bit, a little bit of traction control kicked in there. There's a bit of a slide, just cost me that time. I'll try it on the next lap. Let's get down to third. Up to fourth, over the crest. It's all good fun, this, isn't it? Bad lap that. Come on. It's still good in. Well, I've stuffed that up the first corner. Not to worry. There's always another lap. The more you practice, the more you get the muscle memory, uh, the more you get used to your setup, the pedals, the steering wheel you've got. I'll tell you all about those in future videos. But I've got a direct drive wheel. I've got hydraulic pedals. And with the triple screens, what I don't have is any excuses for not being as good as I can be. This really is a very good setup, so it's on me if I'm not doing very well. We'll do one lap after this, and then we'll wrap it up, and then decide what the very first race will be that I do on this channel. And how I'm going to decide that is using a random generator and an iPad. So, could be anything. Well, I'll say anything. I tend not to drive that many single seaters. There's a couple on there, the lower end ones. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm just not concentrating enough. There we go. Already lost time. First lap I did, 59.5, it's about as good as it's going to get. But there's a, probably a 59 flat in this car if you really, really tried. You'll see in the bottom left that I've done a 59.3 in the past. Uh, and that the optimal, which is if all of my best sectors were put together, is a 59.2. Never mind. So this is lap six. We'll finish this lap. And then we'll come into the bits. There's a pit lane speed limit here. It's only about 30 mile an hour. Yeah, see, I've sped there. Probably gonna get told off. And now it's just about stopping on the marks for my man, so as long as he's happy. There he is with his pit board. Try not to run him over. Not that he can. Or oh, too early on the brakes. There we go. So there we go. That's us driving around Alton Park. Uh, we're gonna do, I say, races in this channel, which is much more exciting than me just driving around here. Let's turn this car off. We'll try and give you some of the uh, the technical stuff. I'm not too too good at the old uh, technical stuff. Um, you'll see in the top left as well, there is a a timer there with just my name on it. During the races, that'll have everybody's time on it. And you'll also see that it's got a red license there. So uh, in the game itself, or the sim itself, I have an A license, which I'm very, very keen to keep hold of. I have an I rating of just over 3,000. So we'll talk about that a bit more as we go along, but I'm not too precious about that. 
the, the higher the I rating is, the harder the racing is because it puts the people together with similar I ratings. So I'm not too precious about keeping that too high because that just means you need to spend a hell of a lot of time practicing. So we'll do some mid-race shout outs for other YouTubers to look out for and uh, leave that in the comments. But for now, it just remains one more thing and that's to figure out what race I'm going to be doing first on this channel. So, da da da, we have an iPad. We have an iPad. Let's open this up. Siri's talking to me. This is what I mean about 40 year old trying to figure out technology. So what we have there, hopefully the camera will focus on that rather than me, is a selector. And I'm gonna press this and you guys are gonna see before I do what the next race challenge is. So, fingers crossed, it's something that I actually do enjoy doing. TCR. TCR. TCR, touring car, so front wheel drive. I'm not very good at front wheel drive. It's a bit elbows out, but you know what? Let's give that a go. So the first race on this channel will be a TCR race. Look forward to it. Thank you for watching this very, very strange first video. And please join me for my first TCR race when I do that on iRacing. So TCR Touring Cars, there are a couple of Hyundai's, a Honda and an Audi. I actually only own the Audi, so I'm gonna to have to just use that even if everyone else is using something else. Uh, so wish me luck with that. I'll get some practice in. I don't know if it's gonna be a few days, a week, a couple of weeks yet. I don't know how frequently these are gonna be, but the next race will be a TCR. Thank you for watching. Once again, please, please leave a comment saying when you first watch this video. Like the video, it really, really helps. And if you wanna see more, then add some subscribers to my channel. I have no subscribers at the moment. So hopefully you can be one of them. Thank you very much and we'll catch you next time.